Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat. Thanks for coming and checking out this video. Today I'm going to do a review on Curate and I actually did it on my mobile phone so it's going to be a little bit different, different type of video. You'll see my screen on my, my mobile phone screen and I'll walk you through uh, what I think of this project. So if you're a new visitor, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. So then when I upload new reviews, new gems, new projects, you can get notified immediately. So let's get into the video right now. It's called Curate. Uh, the ticker is XCUR. And... I was interested just to take a look at this project because um, one of the guys commented on my um, YouTube video and he said check out XCUR. It's on uh, CoinGecko and it's been, uh, it's been gone for a couple of years apparently. So if we scroll down here, this is the current chart here. Let's just scale out to one year just to see where it is. Okay, so we scroll down here. The market cap is 90,377. And you might be thinking, wow, that that is a small market cap. And it is. $90,000 has only been invested in this project for two years. Okay, so just I want to leave you with that thought for a second. So let's just continue. So supply is uh, total supply is eight point seven five million, and then the circulating supply of two point three million. Uh, let's just say a quarter of the supply is already out there. Okay, give or take. So let's just go and see what this project is about, because uh, is this a project that is seriously undervalued, or is this a project that is just a dud? That's what you got. That's what you got to determine. So this is the website, curate.style. So what it is, it's a fashion discovery platform. They have the on Apple Store and Google Play. Now, I haven't downloaded the app yet, um, but I can tell you a couple of things about it. So if we go and have a look at the about, more about it. Okay, as featured, Curate is a shopping rewards company reward rewarding users for free Bitcoin cashback for all their clothes, shopping and more. Fashion brands and retailers have partnered up with Curate to show off their latest styles, raise brand awareness and increase their online sales. In return, Curate provides a trustless platform allowing users to feed back a curated collection of fashion styles for the community to discover. To put simply, fashion brands partner up with Curate and we pass on rewards to curators and discoverers. We are decentralized Web3 open source. So it's a uh, ERC20 token. They can purchase item, unlock discounts, redeem shopping, upgrade account, um, social karma and tipping and currency for mo monetary currency for payments. Plus more. Okay, so it's got like a demo here. Uh, and then it's got a roadmap. I'll just scroll down. This is the roadmap here, Q4. So this is the current roadmap where we're at. I don't know if they've got 250,000 active users. Um, these are the developers here. This James guy, he's a CEO. And then they've got the team here. Okay. And they've got retail applicants. These are the exchanges. They're on quite a few exchanges, but these are all small exchanges which don't have much volume at all. And this is the latest one, peer-to-peer, peer, peer, to peer to B2B. Uh, okay, scroll down a little bit more. Talks about the revenue model. So this is this is what um, concerns me here. It says here, curate pro membership for retailers. Initial fee is 149 a year. And so there's currently well, retailers have to pay 150, 149 a year, which is in the grand scheme of things, it's not really a lot. 
um, not for retailers, for big brands, it's, it wouldn't be that much. But this is where I think that this is stopping this from getting massively adopted because uh, it says, free for those who opt in for the affiliate program, i.e. Amazon Associates, earning Curate up to 10% on sales. This is this is what I'm not exactly 100% sure on, whether this 10% comes out of the profit on the sales or whether it comes just comes out of the token. So this is an area that I'm, I'm not sure. If, if it came out of the sales uh, and the vendor would have to give up 10% or even more, I'm not sure that this would work for the, for the, for the vendors slash retailers. However, if they're getting 10% in curate tokens, um, then that's a different thing. I do want to say that uh, from all the app, from all the uh, projects I've seen, ICOs, pre-sales, and just current projects, I've never seen uh, anything social or or anything um, have to do with fashion succeed as a uh, as a project. I, I just don't know, but there's been many that have tried, but they just don't seem to have any success maybe it's because it's the adoption with the mass market millennials supposed to know about crypto and they they they're more likely to buy uh, bitcoin than gold but i i just think that maybe the market's just not ready for crypto at the moment because they just seem to all have a hard time um adopting crypto people just don't trust it they think it's a scam not everyone but i would say the mass majority all right so let's just go to um have a look at that their, their uh what twitter account so they're now going to get on hotbit which is um that's going to be good news for them that's on the 17th so that's already gone that probably explains that little pump they've just had a 20 percent pump as i said it's a pretty small supply but um Sometimes it doesn't mean much. Um, so this is, they have burnt, this is their token burn, they have burnt um, you know, 1.5 million there. Yeah, 1.5 million there and burning. Yeah, that'd be right because 1.5 take away 10 is 8.5. That is probably a good thing for burning, but again, burning and is only temporary fix. It's only to appease the uh, token holders burning. So, um, they have this beta is now live, so it looks like the preview. So the next step they're saying they want to get on. So they're trying to be the like the Uber, the Airbnb of fashion, pretty much. Doesn't look like they're having much success at the moment. I mean, this project has been going since 2019. Um, and if we scroll down here, we can have a look. If we have a look here. There's only 1,600 and... 11 token holders addresses now even if every single one of those was a unique address that would only mean 1600 and or 1600 people that have invested into the project and that's not good at all sometimes just having a low cap doesn't mean the project is going to be successful at all so it's live on coinbase the price but that doesn't mean anything it's not listed on coinbase um, and then it's got more stuff here. So there's a bunch of small listings. It's on Blockfolio. You know, all these help, obviously. Um, not bashing that. They do uh, help, obviously, um, especially for projects that are just f first starting off. But uh, I would say that this is having an issue with um, mass adoption. All right. That's what this issue is. And um, yeah, if we go back to Coin Market Cap, this explains this pump here from going on uh, Hotbit. But um, 90,000 has only been invested in this project in two years. There's only 1,600 um, actual wallets. If they're all unique, that means there's only 1,600 investors. That's not a lot. Um, and it's reflective of the price. I mean, look at the price. It's like the, the supply is only 8.5 million, which is very low in crypto terms. And the price is only four cents. In my opinion, I think that this project 
uh, it's it's it, it's not a good project. It's not a good project. To the normal investor that's looking at this, they'll go, wow, look at this. It's a low-cap gem. Look at the supply. Just because it's a low-cap doesn't mean it's a gem. Um, and I, as I've said, f these fashion apps, they just have a hard time getting adopted by people. Uh, just, crypto is just one of those things in social that is very hard. It's it only great the value is only created through the adoption um and i i just don't think that they're doing a very good job obviously uh and they've been going for two years and still they've only had ninety thousand in total invested and uh only 1600 people have invested into it um so in my opinion i would uh, i would definitely um just watch this over the next six months. It's way too early to invest in this. It's way too risky. There's no adoption. And I would just continue to watch it. So it just goes to prove that just because something is low cap does not mean it's a gem. The project is actually have got to be a good project. So that's just my opinion on this. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, do you think that this is a worthwhile project? Or do you think that, that this is just something that is just not going to go anywhere let me know your thoughts comment below uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification and i'll see you in the next video are you new to crypto and DeFi? you're not sure how to navigate to the scams and keep away from the sharks trying to steal your crypto this space can be very daunting for newbies that's why we created 100xcryptoacademy.com this is not just a course on DeFi, yield farming and investing but a real community of like-minded crypto enthusiasts who believe crypto is the key to financial freedom. You'll get 50 plus HD on-demand videos, ongoing research analysis and pre-screened, ICO and pre-sales, four weekly webinars per month with live Q&A, private access to our exclusive forum, and our vibrant Telegram group for live chat and updates. All for a low monthly investment. Check out our Patreon at 100xcryptoacademy.com.